Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Hello and good morning. Thanks for joining me today on Calcine TV for the ASX buzzing stocks for the day. I'm Holly Shields. The Australian shares have risen to their highest level in five months, led by sharp gains across mining and energy stocks as investors shrunk off China's renewed COVID-19 lockdowns. The ASX 200 index has gained 0.8% as of 10.35 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time today. And shares of Qantas jumped 5.1% to $6.17, making it one of today's best performing stocks. And this was after the airline announced its second profit upgrade in six weeks, thanks to strong demand for domestic flights. And looking now to some top announcements for today, continued strength in travel demand has resulted in the Qantas upgrading its profit expectations for the first half of financial year 23. The group now expects an underlying profit before tax of between $1.35 billion and $1.45 billion. This represents a $150 million increase to the profit range given in early October 2022. The company has said that consumers continue to put a high priority on travel ahead of other spending categories and there are more signs that limits on international capacity are driving more domestic leisure demand, benefiting Australian tourism. Fuel costs, however, remain significantly elevated compared with financial year 19, and they are expected to reach approximately $5 billion for financial year 23, which would be a record high for Qantas despite international capacity at around 30% below pre-COVID levels. Moreover, Qantas informed the market that of the $400 million share buyback announced in August of this year, 76% is now compete complete rather at an average price of 566. And low levels of net debt put the board in a position to consider future shareholder returns in February 2023 consistent with Qantas's financial framework and phasing of capital expenditure for fleet renewal. Next up today, Mesoblast reported operational highlights and financial results for the period ending September 30 and provided an update on upcoming milestones. Mesoblast announced top-line long-term survival results for the Rimmer stem cell L from the pivotal phase 3 trial in children with steroid refractory acute graft-versus-host disease. The results showed durable survival through four years of follow-up and many lives that could potentially be saved by making this therapy available as soon as possible to children with the most common life-threatening complication after bone marrow transplantation. And moving on, Polynovo advises that it has received firm commitments to subscribe for new fully paid ordinary shares in the company pursuant to a $30 million institutional placement. New shares will be issued in accordance with the company's placement capacity under ASX listing rule 7.1. The placement is scheduled to settle on Monday, 28th of November 2022. The company CEO, Swami Raut, said the company has received such strong demand from a number of its existing institutional shareholders who continue to support Polynovo and welcomes a number of new institutional investors as the company continues on its journey to improve patient outcomes. Proceeds from the equity raising will allow Polynovo to continue to capitalize on the significant opportunities available, including geographic sales team and indication expansion investment in R&D and the development of a new facility to satisfy growing demand for Novazorb. And that is a wrap on the ASX buzzing stocks for the day. Tune in next time for more only on Calcane TV. I'm Holly Shields.